Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and once again, coming to you guys cooking. And today on the menu, we have, um, this morning I did a breakfast skillet, um, which is pretty much like a breakfast mix in a skillet. <laughs> um, so make sure you guys go ahead and watch that video. I'm sure it'll probably be uploaded around the same time as this video. Now, as far as this meal, also going to be featured in my skillet. Um, let me see here. Show you guys my big black skillet. Oh, that thing's heavy. That's old school right there. Old school. Back in the day, they used to cook everything in that thing. So, anyway, let me uh, real quick um, let you guys know. I am going to be cooking meatball lasagna in the skillet. Meatball lasagna, lasagna, however you want to pronounce it. I know it's lasagna, y'all. I know. Anyway, so let me show you what we got. We got some of the Carando mozzarella Italian style meatballs. I got two packs of those. We got some public shredded mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. All right, and we got some barilla rotini noodles. Barilla rotini noodles. <laughs> hey, I got this. And we got some Parmesan, the shredded Parmesan cheese here, grated whatever parmesan uh cheese and i've got my silver palette i think i'm pronouncing that right marinara all right and i've got me a little small can of tomato paste small can of tomato paste and i've got some uh, pepper garlic salt onion chops chopped onion and i got some parsley flakes and of course, I got my Old Faithful canola oil back there in the back because I'm going to spray my skillet to make sure, you know, nothing sticks to it. So, this is our ingredients for our lasagna. Meatball lasagna, guys. All right, just wanted to show you guys all the ingredients. Let's go ahead and get into this cooking. Okay, guys, I am back. Just wanted to show you how I was going to be cooking those meatballs. I've got them all lined up in my air fryer tray here. Don't forget, I laid down my aluminum foil. I sprayed it with oil. I always do that to make sure my food doesn't stick. So I lined it with aluminum foil. I sprayed the aluminum foil with a little oil. I laid my meatballs down. Of course, I'll spray across the top of the meatballs as well. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in the air fryer. That way... That way our meatballs can go ahead and get done quickly. Um, not that I always try to rush when I cook, but hey, if I can do it fast and easy, I'm going to do it fast and easy. So air fryer will get these meatballs done and like maybe I'm going to leave it at 370, which is what it's pre-programmed to do. So I'm going to leave it at 370. Let me bring you guys up so you can see what I'm doing here. All right. I'm gonna leave it at 370 and it automatically sets itself for 15 minutes so you know what I'm gonna leave it at 370 for 15 minutes that's what I'm gonna do and leave it at that that should be good enough 370 I'll come back in about 10 minutes and check on them to see how they're looking um, if they're looking nice and brown and toasty across the top I'll go ahead and flip them over you know roll them over and cook them for like another maybe five or ten minutes on the other side so all right we've got our meatballs in uh oh sorry guys we've got our meatballs in the air fryer and um i've already got my pasta done over here my pasta my rotini pasta show you guys that bear with me guys let's see let's get you tilted down here into the pasta the rotini pasta so i've already got the pasta done the, the pasta only took like um five minutes i had my water boiling hot threw a little salt in there threw my rotini in there and hey that was it five minutes later the rotini pasta is done that's my little italian accent y'all gonna hear i be trying all kind of accents so that's the rotini the rotini's all done and um yeah so we're gonna wait on those meatballs but what i am gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and get my um tomato sauce ready which is gonna be a mixture of the marinara and the tomato paste 
the tomato paste is used to thicken it up. So um, let me go ahead and get that together and I'll show you guys how I do that. And then we're just going to throw this all together in the skillet and throw it in the oven. I'll be back guys. Okay guys, I'm back getting ready to show you how I prepare the tomato sauce that goes in my meatball lasagna. Um, and like I showed you guys before, I use the Silver Palette Marina. I'm sorry, Marinara, Marina. Marinara. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, so this is the marinara I like to use. So I've already got that in my, my pot warming up. Stir that around a little bit. It's already nice and warm in there. Meatballs over there in the air fryer looking really good, guys. I'm going to take this tomato paste. And tomato paste just thickens it up. That's all it does. Just thickens your tomato sauce up. It's just a thick form of tomato sauce. Thickens it up. Because you don't want your, um, you don't want your lasagna all, um, watery. So, you get the tomato paste, add it to your marinara. You see it's starting to thicken up. Starting to thicken up. I mean, you put that tomato paste in there. Just thickens it up. So your sauce isn't so runny. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to end up. Yeah. And let's see. They were looking good when I last checked on them. Ooh, look at the meatball. Ooh, look at the meatballs. Let me get y'all down there. In the meatball. Look at the Italian meatballs. Y'all don't laugh at my Italian voice. Don't laugh at it. Ooh, hey, look at them. Look at the meatballs. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Nice and golden brown and crispy. Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and get those meatballs. Let's get those meatballs um turned around. Little sugar. Now sugar just kind of takes the uh how can I say it? The um the sting out of the tomato. Sprinkle a little sugar in there. It takes that sting out of that tomato. You know? Y'all know how tomatoes are. So, I add a little sugar. I'd say about uh, two teaspoons. I'm sorry, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of sugar. Just to get rid of that, uh, that strong tomato uh, taste. Some people like it that way. I know me and the girls, we don't. Oh, that's good. That is real good. There, two tablespoons of sugar amazing gives it a whole different flavor because sometimes that tomato just be too strong too strong and see how nice and thick your sauce is see how nice and thick that is that's what we want we don't want it all runny we don't want that so all right that is our sauce our meatball should be done okay guys i'm gonna go and when i come back we'll put it all together Okay guys, let's go ahead and build our meatball lasagna. Alright, I've got my skillet here. Make sure you guys can see. Yep, I've got my skillet here. I've got my uh, skillet. I already sprayed it with oil. Alright. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put down a layer of sauce. Just like you're, you're making a lasagna. Just, you know, like you're doing lasagna. You'll see. That all spread it around. Get that sauce going all up the sides there. Okay. Go. All right. First layer of sauce. All right. Let's get our pasta in there. Layer of pasta. Just gonna put that down in there. Okay. 
Okay. All right, we got a layer of sauce. We got a layer of pasta. All right, and let's see. Let's get something to get our meat boilers out. I'm going to do the cheese layer now. I'm going to do the Parmesan grated cheese. Get a layer of that Parmesan grated on those noodles. Hold on, guys. Just want to make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's perfect. All right. Got a layer of that Parmesan grated cheese. All right, let's get the mozzarella shredded cheese in there. Let's get a layer of that. Looking good, smelling good, all of that, guys, all of that. All right, get some meatballs in here. Get the meatballs going. And you're gonna push your meatballs down. Push your meatballs down in there. Pushing your meatballs down. We got plenty of meatballs, guys. We got plenty of meatballs, so plenty. It's gonna be a nice layer all around. All around the side of your thing there. Just put them down in there. We have plenty of meatballs. Gonna be great. Be delicious. Get that. Look at it. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, wee. Can't tell me that don't look good. Make sure I got all my meatballs out. Okay, got all our meatballs. Look at that, guys. Don't that look delicious? That look delicious already. We finished. Well, no, not really. Okay, guys. All right, so. Let's go ahead and do that layer of sauce. Y'all do that layer of sauce, guys. Get the rest of our sauce in here. Take the sauce around the side like that. Make sure we get all of our sauce. Cover those meatballs with that sauce so that sauce can get all baked into the meatballs when we put it in the oven. Get all my sauce. I'm not leaving no sauce. All my sauce. All my stuff. Over here on the side where the noodles at. I'm going to do it just like that. Okay. And just kind of take the back of your spoon and I do this. You know, spread it around. Like that. That's how I do it. You know? Get your sauce all spread it. Make sure the sauce all nicely even spread it around. Okay. Alright, so we got all our sauce. So y'all know what we're doing next. We just doing some pasta. We're doing some more pasta across the top. Like it, you know, you're making the lasagna. You just Doing that across the top like that. Pasta like that. Get that covered, everybody covered. And see how I'm shaking my noodles so you know they can loosen up and won't be all stuck together. Uh-oh, lost the noodle, man overboard. All right, so take my hands and I just kind of spot is our meatball lasagna. Meatball lasagna. Make sure you get that all nice across the top. Make sure you get it all across the top, across some edges. Get a little messy. Oh well, we'll get it cleaned up. 
Make sure we get cheese everywhere. Make sure we get cheese all across the top here. Got our cheese everywhere. All across, especially across that top. Make sure you get some on the sides there. Across your edges. Cheese be falling off. Pick your cheese up and put it back, put it back up there. If you first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. In the words of Aaliyah. Dust yourself off and try again, try again. But first you don't succeed. Dust yourself off and try again. Dust yourself off and try again, try again. All right, y'all. Y'all know I get the singing. Okay, all right. So we've got this all ready. Let's go ahead and throw it in the oven. And when I come back, I'll be pulling it out. All right, guys, we'll be back. Okay, guys, I just took the lasagna meatball lasagna out of the oven. And here it is. This is what it looks like, guys. I put it on 425 for 30 minutes. 425 for 30 minutes. I know that sounds like a lot, but it is thick. You know, everything's compacted down in that skillet. So I want to give everything time to melt and, you know, blend together. But this is the end result, guys. This is my meatball lasagna. Lasagna. Okay, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Arika Misha. Thank you guys so much for always clicking on my videos, supporting me and my family. And don't forget, my girls, they have started their channel as well. It is called AJ's Crib. That's A as in Adam. Well, A as in Amaya. J as in Janiya. AJ's Crib. Don't forget to go if you guys have kids. You know, make sure they go and support the girls. They've started their own channel. Thank you guys so much. And remember, knowledge is power.